As I've stated in the past, I think Twinmotion is a very intriguing software for these reasons. It's owned by Epic Games, and Epic Games has shown a commitment to developing tools that are useful to the ArcVis community, and they're just a good company to hitch your wagon to, in my opinion. Another reason is that new this year, Twinmotion, Epic Games, and Autodesk have made some sort of agreement so that Twinmotion is free to all Revit users. Revit is a widely used architectural drafting software, well, a BIM software, and it's widely used by architects, therefore, many architects will now have access to Twinmotion, and it will also be widespread and available to them at no extra cost. Another reason is that Twinmotion integrates all the best things about working in real time. They have a huge asset library. Placing assets is easy. Scattering objects, painting landscape objects, lighting, adding materials is all very intuitive, quick, and easy in a real-time tool like Twinmotion. And you guys know I love animating, setting up cameras in real time. There's no way to beat that. Twinmotion also has a path tracer built in. So if you want to take it to a higher level of lighting with true global illumination going on that is accurate and photorealistic, then you can use the path tracer. So the idea is place everything in real time, but then render using photorealistic tools. Another reason I love Twinmotion is because you can export to any kind of format from that software. So you can do stills, you can do animations, you can do panoramics, you can do actual virtual reality walkthroughs either for the desktop or inside of VR goggles. So really you have no limitations on what your final product is going to be. And finally, if you really want to take your projects to the next level, then you can seamlessly translate them into Unreal Engine, which of course has all the power you would ever need to create anything you want. So there's really no limitation on what Twin Motion can do, especially when you add in the additional functionality of Unreal Engine. And of course, you don't have to start over on a new project or anything like that. It translates directly and everything comes across pretty nicely, as I've demonstrated in other videos. So these are the pros of Twin Motion, and hopefully you can see why it would be appealing to ArcVis artists. But does it really work? Sometimes it's a little bit hard for me coming from a V-Ray or even like a Chaos Vantage background to something like Twin Motion that I consider less photoreal overall. Or it's hard to match the results I would be expecting out of V-Ray or even Vantage. But I'm starting to develop a course for Twin Motion. So this week I've been experimenting, trying to get the best results I can. I've talked about the pros of Twin Motion, but let's take a look at my actual experience in trying to create professional projects. Hopefully it can be informative to you if you're considering adopting a software like Twin Motion or any other real-time software. So I started with a project I already had, a cabin model that you may have seen from my Unreal Engine course or from other renderings that I've shown before on the internet. And I just brought it in via Datasmith. Works really, really well, honestly. Everything comes in nicely, even Cosmos objects and objects that I made myself, materials, everything. I don't typically bring in the lights from 3ds Max because I'd rather do them in real time. And that's what I'm doing here is just dragging and dropping lights, which of course with Twin Motion is super easy to do. Placing lights in real time is easy enough. And here you can see I switched to the path tracer and you can actually get really nice results from the path tracer. The one thing I'm not liking so much is the non path tracer results. The lighting does funky things. It's hard for me to control. It doesn't give me results that I expect, but I think that's probably pretty normal for someone coming from ray tracing background and then switching to real time software. And in Unreal Engine, I've got it to work fine in there with using like Lumen, which is a real-time solution. Twin Motion, I have a harder time. I look forward to the days when they integrate Lumen into Twin Motion. Let's just put it that way. But here I'm placing some people that are pre-animated. They look pretty hokey to me, but it does add some life and motion to your scene. And then you can see how easy it is to animate. Just like Vantage or other real-time software, you just kind of set up a camera and say, move it from here to this other camera position that I set up, just interpolate between those two and create an animation. 
Then, of course, it's easy to compose your shot to just go around, place things, copy things, rotate things, scale things. And once you have it how you want it, you can switch back to the path tracer and make it look more realistic again. You can see here that the lighting, the real-time lighting, is not great. But I think the path tracing lighting looks pretty cool, actually. One thing I honestly struggle with is the attenuation of the lights. They oftentimes start going through walls and stuff if you turn the attenuation up too high. And if you turn it down too low, then they don't kind of bounce around and give the amount of light that I would want inside of that cabin. So it was a struggle for me to get a nice balance between indoor and outdoor lighting with real-time lighting solution. In the Path Tracer, obviously, it works better. And then you can easily just export to animation. You could export this whole thing to VR, whatever you want. You just create all the things you want to export, and then you select them and say, okay, export these. And the real-time lighting will render extremely quickly. Path tracing, not so much. That'll be more similar to what you would have with Vantage or something like that, where, you know, it's doing real global illumination and it takes time to do it. So I'll show you the results. I'll show you the results of what I got and talk about how long they took in a little bit after we look at a little bit of my workflow. Okay, before I was trying to optimize the lighting for the path tracer, and I was getting good results with rendering the path tracer, but I'll show you those final animations and talk about some of the issues I was having in just a minute. But here I'm trying to optimize the lighting using real-time lighting. So it can look okay. It's faking a lot more things, but you can make it look okay. It may or may not take a little more fidgeting. I don't know. Again, that might just be my background and what I'm used to. But, but again, setting up the animations and everything and tweaking the lights in real time makes it quite a bit easier because you can see everything as you're doing it. Setting up cameras are easy. Setting up the atmosphere is very easy in twin motion, all in real time. So you can set the mood, you can set your animation, your compositions, your lighting, everything very easily and intuitively. And that's what I love about working in real time. So I completely changed from being a path tracer animation to a real time animation because I wanted to spit it out really quickly. So you can see I'm just getting my export settings how I want them and I'll generate this animation and we'll look at all the different animations I generated from this little project and talk about how long each one of them took and what the issues are. So let's take a look at that. Okay, as you can see, these results are not great. This lighting is the real-time light solution. Doesn't look fantastic, but it rendered extremely fast, like about in one minute. And with the path tracer, obviously the lighting looks way better. I have some nice volumetrics going on, but I also have this flickering that I cannot get rid of. I tried this with different number of samples and tried lots of different settings to try and get it to work. And the rendering settings were taking anywhere from 8 hours to render to 12 hours to render. Then at last, I optimized again for the real-time lighting. And you can see it has some issues here. I do not like some of the things going on, but this rendered in like a minute and a half. Okay, so my results are not what I expected yet, or not what I wanted. There are some issues I've got going on here. Does that mean that Twin Motion is incapable of producing the quality that I want? No, I don't think it does. I think it means that I need to experiment more, fidget with it more. I know that real time can give me good results because I've seen them and I've accomplished them myself. And ultimately, if I need to, I could always take this into Unreal Engine where I know I can get really, really nice looking results too. But long story short, I think I need to keep experimenting with Twin Motion to push it to the limit and see how good I can get an animation to look. Anyway, I'd love to hear from you guys what you think about this. If you know some way that I can improve my path tracing, the flickering that I'm seeing, if you know some way that I can make my real-time lighting situation look a lot better, let me know in the comments. And let me know how you're using Twin Motion or other real-time software. Maybe the lighting quality just isn't so important to you, and so you're okay with the results of an average real-time rendering i don't know let me know and stay tuned here to see more experimentation see where i can go with this like i said there are many appealing things about twin motion and ultimately i know if i can't get the results i want i can take it into unreal engine 4. that is a huge plus
Anyway, thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next video. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my experiments or, or tutorials or ArcViz news or any of that stuff. And I forgot to mention, if you are interested in the cabin model that we are looking at in these animations, you can download the 3ds Max model of this with all the furniture and materials applied. It's a 3ds Max plus V-Ray file. You can download all that by just following the links below and going to the resources on my webpage. Thanks a lot.